Hey guys, I'm going to give you some advice how to avoid the next meta zoo. And it's really based on what I have learned in three years, three and a half years of investing myself. So I used to work at a law firm. That law firm still has my 401k, which is my retirement. And they've hired this uh, firm called Hancock. And they basically just do this all day. They basically figure out how to maximize your retirement for what you know when you get older so i've had i have not had to manage my own stocks or bonds ever and there was just no incentive for me to do so if i wanted to put more money in stocks and bonds i would just dump it over on the hancock account well um when rudy was talking about meta zoo and so on it kind of gave me it made me interested in learning more about stocks and bonds right s p 500 especially and i decided around that time when MetaZoo was pumping and dumping that I would put money instead of MetaZoo and, and eventually I can compare it to what happened with MetaZoo which is savage right but um, yeah there was that it was I'll be honest he did inspire me a little bit now there was other reasons I wanted to learn about stocks and bonds mainly because I wanted to gamble I thought it was really just gambling uh, that was how financially illiterate I was at the time I, thought I was just like oh it's like it's like an online casino and you just pick the Tesla stock and it goes up, right? And then it goes down and it goes up. I was trying to do that day trading type of stuff. But, you know, again, I was running a marketing business. Um, I have, I'm, I'm a lawyer, so I do legal cases, immigration cases. So I just don't have the time. Eventually, I got bored of it because it wasn't as fun as gambling. So as many of you know, if you watched me from my original channel, I love gambling. I love uh, poker. I love blackjack. Those are the two games I play. I even play slots, right? Uh, every day I watch uh, Vegas Matt, every single day while I'm working. Um, I, I enjoy watching people win and lose money, and uh, that enjoyment uh, is, you know, is better when you're the one winning and losing money, I feel. I feel like, you know, it's, it's you got to get some little skin in the game. So I still like it opening packs of magic. I still like opening packs of stuff. The, the more expensive the stuff, the more I like opening it, even though you get hosed a lot in Magic the Gathering especially. Um, but back to like this idea, um, what I have learned is that these stocks don't actually go up or down that much. For the most part, when you're talking about day to day, they kind of remain the same. L let's say that somebody buys out Moonbrion and Moonbrion go goes from 500 to to $1,000. That can happen in a day. That is very unlikely to happen to ExxonMobil. Uh, Alibaba, what other stock do I have? S&P 500, I have like a bunch of bonds and stuff. That's even more unlikely to happen to a bond. So what I'm saying is, um, MetaZoo, you can get a box for $100. Early investors, including Alpha Investment, who was gifted multiple cases of these first edition boxes, apparently, um, they can get a box for $100 or an Alpha Investments case for free. And then that $100 box or that zero cost box now becomes $10,000, right? That's not an investment available to most people because most people didn't buy a hundred dollars. They're not early adopters, right? And even if they weren't early adopters, they don't have the platform that somebody like Pay Money Wabi, someone like Argos Anonymous, somebody like Alpha Investment has where the owner would gift them all these items, right? Uh, then they could sell in the secondary market for a shit ton of money. So that that's not what's happening here. What's happening here is um, is quite simple. Is this does not act or behave like a stock or a bond. One example I'm gonna you know beat the dead horse around is the MetaZoo Nightfall First Edition. Alpha Investment has one kit, which is essentially one boosted box for eight twenty. If you wanted to buy five kits, it would cost you. 8200 and that's not a mistake the more you buy the more he charges you per box that i don't think has ever happened to any bond or somebody correct me i i've probably made a dozen videos like this so it's the same dude probably if, if it did happen it's the same dude copying pasting his comment like four times in a row right but i don't think that happens to any stock and bond where the more apple stock you buy the the more you pay per apple stock so if you want to buy five Apple stocks, you have to pay eighty-two hundred or sixteen forty an Apple stock, right? Or is it sixteen forty something like that? What 
yeah, 1640 a stock. If you want to buy one stock, it only costs you 820. That's not how the stock market works, right? I it, it mean, do you understand? Like, it's just not how it works. And anyone of any economical sense can realize, looking at Alpha Investment Post, that this is not an investment, no matter how much Alpha Investment is portraying it as, because this is not how any investment in the history of time, in legitimate investment, has ever operated. Um, yeah, I mean, typically speaking, the more you buy of something, the cheaper. You should get kind of like a bulk discount or something, right? Not with MetaZoo, baby. <laughs> the more you buy, the more you pay per box, which is insane. Now, I have a few more examples of MetaZoo. We can use the Kickstarter. It went from, what, $100 supposedly to $10,000. And now it went from $10,000 to $700, $600. Still dropping, by the way. Uh... So if you bought at $100, you're still up a little bit of money. You can still sell on eBay after fees and still make a very good profit. But very few people bought at $100. Like you, you have to understand how this works, right? Very few people are early investors to an investment. There are far more people with the, the heavy bags. So maybe 100 people really benefit from the $100 MetaZoo Kickstarter. Maybe 1,000, let's say. But there are 100,000, if not more people, I believe, that have lost money due to MetaZoo in some larger capacity. Uh, you don't have to uh, look any further than Argos Anonymous and see how much he's selling. You know, I, again, you know, um, I'm just trying to, I don't, I'm not this stock guru or finance investment. I, I'm just telling you, I made a shit ton of money on stocks. And... If a stock, if, if my portfolio of 600K goes up 1%, I made $6,000. That's a good day. If my portfolio goes down 1%, I, I lose $6,000. That's a bad day. But at no time does my portfolio go from $100 a stock to 10000 in a very short span or ever. Um, I mean, that would be insanity, right? That would not, I mean, what type of investment would that be? And at no point in time does my $10,000 investment go down to... I had this stock. It was called Diamond Offshore Limited. It bankrupt. And it's still worth 35% of what it was worth at one time. And it's like going up in price because the company bought it. Like very few stocks actually bankrupt, bankrupt. People actually buy it and then they re... They give you like this new stock and, and, and then they buy your old stock back. This is a really weird thing. I, th I saw it go to zero one day, and then suddenly, you know, and I didn't do it. I, I mean, it was just kind of sitting in my account, and now it's back to uh, 3500 Okay, <laughs> you know, whatever, right? I mean, it's about zero again. I think, um, yeah, I hope people learn from MetaZoo because it, it's not an investment. Most TCGs are not investments. S&P 500, now that is an investment, guys. And it doesn't go up 20 x because young people they think that these things should go up 20 x. They think they are so volatile. They have no idea how like slow these stocks are to go up. I mean, if they go up one percent a week, that would be pretty good. I mean, sometimes it goes up one percent and it drops two percent. It's it's if if you've owned stocks, especially S and P 500, you know it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. But at no point in time has it gone up 20. 20x and at no point in time has it gone down 95 percent overnight that's metazoo man that's only for metazoo never an investment 